Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today I have something that sounds like an awesome story, and it really isn't. I'm mostly just covering this because I've had people reach out to me and say, hey, this happened, you should cover it. So I am covering it. It's just not as exciting as it sounds. But Blender 3.0 Alpha was just released. And you're gonna think, okay, 3.0, huge deal. No, it is literally just the next in the numbering sequence. There's nothing really hugely significant about going from 2.9x to 3. We literally just rolled over numbers, although we are going to be going with a different numbering system going forward, one that I actually prefer, and we'll get back to that in just a second. Also, there is literally almost nothing in this 3.0 release. It's pretty much the 2.93 beta with one more feature. Uh, but we do have some news on the 2.93 side of things that you may find a little bit more exciting. Now, first off, if you are not a Blender uh, user yet, uh, Blender is an open source multimedia powerhouse, 3D, 2D, video editing, you name it, available at blender.org. Uh, the stuff we were talking about today is available on the daily build side of things. Here you can see, and this is available at builder.blender.org forward slash download. You will see that there is Blender 3.0 Alpha released today. Yeah, that sounds awesome. It's available also for Mac OS and Linux. And as I mentioned earlier on, there is literally nothing to be excited about in this 3.0 release. Nothing. It is just you know, the, the first milestone sands in the ground, you know, shovels in the ground in the sand for a new project going forward. Now, I did mention earlier on that there was going to be a numbering change, and that is definitely true. Back in February of 2020, uh, Ton Rosendale support, uh, released this document on the future of Blender, LTS versions 3.0, and so on. An LTS version or a long-term stable version is important, especially for like bigger companies. Like if you're starting on a game project that's going to take a few years year's time or a movie project, you're going to want to make sure that your, your tools are stable. And that's what an LTS version offers. They offer bug support, updates and fixes, but stability for that release for a two year support window. And then on top of that, they also announced that they were going to do 3.0 versioning. So here's where we are, August of 2021, which right now being April. So they got uh, half of April, May, June, and July to work on it. Three and a half months to go from alpha through beta to Beacon 3. That sounds pretty much doable. So they are on schedule here, but what they have done is moving into the 3.0 series and going on, we're not going to have these second digits anymore. So we're not going to have 2.82, 8.3, 9, whatever. We're going to just go 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, then an LTS version, 3, 4, 3, 5, 3, 6, and LTS version. Between these LTS versions, you've got, uh, let's see, one year's time. So they'll sort of have those one year apart, we'll have new LTS versions and those LTS versions will get bug fixes and support for two years time. And then in May, we had the 2.93 LTS version, which is the one you want to stick with until May of next year. It's a nice approach to things. I also like the new numbering system a whole lot more than the old one. It makes it sound uh, like a more substantial upgrade, which generally these Blender updates are huge. There was a huge amount of content in them, even though today's may be a little bit or, or massively underwhelming, to be honest. Like I said, I'm mostly covering this because the news broke and I know some of you are curious what in the 3.0 alpha. And as I mentioned earlier on, not much. Now, part of this could be come down to that the release notes aren't up to date. So there may be more in there uh, than you expect. Also keep in mind that the 3.0 alpha will have all the 2.93 stuff in it as well. So here you can see the one major new change here is the asset browser. Now the asset browser is going to be really exciting. It's basically changing the way that data is stored inside of Blender. Right now it is quite confusing. This new approach is going to be quite nice. You could basically save anything as uh, a data item. It's nicely thumbnailed. So here, if you got like, for example, a number of um, facial setups going on, you could switch between them. You could create a model that you could instantiate. So you could say, create a single brick, and then you basically just drag and drop it out to instantiate them in your scenes. So it's going to have a lot nicer storage of uh, stuff inside of Blender, basically. This was going to be in Blender 2.92, the new asset browser and the new asset system. It got bumped back 2.93, and now it seems to be the fundamental feature or the, the, the first major feature of Blender 3.0. Now, going back to what I was saying a little bit earlier on, Blender 2.93 beta was also released yesterday. And keep in mind, 3.0 uh, will be built on top of 2.93. So everything you see here is also in the 3.0 alpha. Also keep in mind, uh, do not use an alpha version in production. Do not open your production data files in an alpha version. 
Theoretically, don't do it in a beta version either. These are not meant for day-to-day -day use. These are meant for development and testing and getting an idea of what future versions are going to be. Now, I know that many of you are going to completely ignore me, but if you're going to ignore me on this, please stick to the betas. The alpha, not a good idea. Just let you know. If it crashes a lot, that's to be expected. These are just not stable releases. But you're going to come in... Uh, Blender 2.93 has a lot more features and functionality. You got some nice improvements on volumetrics. You got improvements to uh, sculpting. Uh, you got, again, UI improvements, some uh, just nice refinements, color changes, and, and updates that way. Uh, you got improvements to the modeling tool, subdivision surfaces, and so on. This is an area I'm not going to get into in a ton of detail on this video. First off, it's not about that. And second, uh, I'll do a kind of a top features video of Blender 2.93 as it comes to uh, a release. So uh, this is definitely a topic I am going to revisit. But today, I am mostly here to focus on the uh, 3.0 release. And again, the 3.0 release is mostly a naming thing. So it sounds like it's going to be really exciting because we're rolling over to the next version. Not really. It's literally just a bump in version. And the alpha is really just a literal starting point. So uh, stay tuned. There will be more features added to it as we go on. But as it stands right now, if you're excited about the 3.0 alpha release, well, it's nice. It's, it's, a, it's a step forward in the future, but there is almost literally nothing new in it over the 2.93 version, which, by the way, are both available here at the Daily Build site. So if you want to take a walk on the wild side, check out the new features here. You can do so. Uh, it, it's definitely, Blender is improving at a staggering rate, uh, so I'm excited to see what the future holds. Just set your expectations accordingly. Just because we've got that major bump on the left-hand side, that 3 instead of a 2, you're going to think that's going to be a huge deal because in most naming conventions, when you've got like that major version number bump, it is. In this case, no. It literally is just the next version in the sequence. Uh, but they are changing to that new numbering convention, and I like this better because, again, I think it more accurately represents... Uh, the progression that Blender is having. It's on a nice fixed timeline that makes sense. I do like the, the linearity and expectations here, and I, it's amazing me how well the Blender team are managing to stick to this timeline as things go on. So I do like moving to this just point one, point two, point three, as opposed to the smaller increments. Uh, it makes it a lot easier to see like where you are, uh, where the progression is, and so on. But I'd be interested in knowing uh, what your opinion is in that change. I would ask you what your opinion was of Blender 3.0 Alpha, but truthfully, I'm just covering this because people have asked me. There's nothing really new to be excited about. If you want to check out and play with new toys, go check out the newly released, uh, what was it, 2.93 uh, Beta. So yeah, that one's there. And this is ultimately going to turn into the next LTS version, this Blender 2.93 version. What this turns into, you'll see here, uh, it is the May long-term support version. So this version that they're looking at right now, that 2.93 that is currently in beta, will ultimately be with you for a very long time. So hopefully it is a substantial release. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.